Yes, Jacob. A moment from uh, meditating my, my a few days ago. Um, it's continued to puzzle me. Um, I probably was meditating for maybe a half hour or so. When the meditation was over, when I decided it was over, felt it was over, mm -hmm. um, I opened my eyes at some point, and I had no idea who I was. Right. I, mean, I had no idea what I was. Mm -hmm. It's rather hard to describe. Um, it's it's impossible to describe. Impossible. Not because not because the words don't say enough, but because they say too much. Mm -hmm. Does that that sound right? So when you said you know what a little while back, what's on your mind? Right. It was. Uh, I mean, there, there was something uncanny about it, is all I could say. Yeah. And it could have been frightening, but it wasn't. Um, so I don't, you know, I'm just putting that out there. I don't, somehow it seems maybe connected. I don't want to get too intellectual with it, but to... Uh, I find these days, and it, it seems to be concurrent with getting more established in meditation, mm -hmm. that I have many moments of just such deep contentment and joy. Mm -hmm. And then I have many moments of angst. Uh-huh. Uh, and it's like the the bandwidth has expanded some, or yes, might be one way to put it. Yes, but that that experience, and I know one shouldn't cling to experiences, but I it just was sort of like uh, I, I I don't have words for it. Yeah. <laughs> I really yeah. don't. Good, good. It's good good to not have words for it. But and 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 yeah, we don't we don't cling to experiences, but but it's fine to enjoy them, and and to um, share them and discuss them. I mean, that's 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 what we do here. This is part of the exploration, uh, part of the helping helping each other as a group, as a sangha, to kind of note. I mean, in a way, it's all about noticing. You know, yeah. the, the kind of the reports as people awaken is, wait, this is what was here all along. I just somehow failed to notice it. So it's very valuable to point these things out to ourselves and to each other so that we, we, we notice. <laughs> we notice. There's so, there's so much that's so beautiful in, in what you just described over the last couple of minutes. Starting with, you came out of the med I came out of the meditation, I had no idea who I was and no idea what I was, right? And that's just gorgeous. You can, can you see that the key phrase here is no idea, <laughs> right? No idea. Generally, see, we have a, our usual sense of identity is just an idea. Oh, I'm Jacob or I'm Dean. Well, what's Jacob? What's Dean? That's a sound. Ding, ding, right? That's that's a sound which our parents said to us repeatedly as we were lying there in the cradle. Hello, Jacob. Coochie coo date, Jacob. Oh, little Jacob, you're so cute. And, you know, these great big authoritative faces with their deep authoritative voices, they say this sound over and over. And after a while, this little, what up to now has been pretty much undifferentiated consciousness starts to think, well, I guess I must be this Jacob thing they keep talking about, right? Which we need. We need that as an initiation into, you know, living in the, the material world here. So, you know, when you start running across the street, your mom can call out Jacob and, you know, and, and you stop. Um, <clears throat> but I mentioned this, I don't know if you were in the session a couple of, a week or two ago, uh, I recently was in Connecticut 
hanging out with my kids and my grandkids. And uh, my my son has two year old twins, and um, and very sweetly they named one of them Dean. Yeah. Um, uh, which was lovely. It's a lovely honor, but it's been very interesting being around the F be, for, it, it might have been different if my name were Bob or John or something where you're used to being around other Bobs and Johns. I've never been around other deans. And so, so anytime I hear the word Dean, that's the sound that evokes my sense of personhood. You know, then our name, our given name, that's kind of, you know, mantras are there to evoke these entities. You, you know, you, you, you write, Om Gang Ganapataye Namaha, whatever. That's the mantra of, of Sri Ganesh, the elephant headed god you see over my shoulder. So, so, you know, you, you say that mantra to evoke that, you know, which is really a, a you know, big super deluxe form of the you know archetypal form of the formless now the mantra of the our given name dean or jacob that's the that's we could say that's the mantra of the ego right that's the the sound that evokes you know we we could be in space you could be like when you come out came out of that meditation you didn't know who you were or what you were you had no idea who you were or what you were. But if at that moment someone would call out, hey, Jacob, see, then that's going to tend to, exactly. Then you re-coalesce as, oh, I'm this thing again. It's very persuasive. Yes, it is. It is because, because you know, very persuasive because everyone has been barraging us with that sound, with that name, and with the idea that we are a person, we are a separate chunk of, of 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 reality broken off you know despite what john dunn wrote you know no man is an island entire of itself but a piece of the continent our whole life everyone and everything has been basically uh convincing us that we are an island and the name of that island is jacob right so <clears throat> we can talk about this in a what can sound like a slightly philosophical or as you say intellectual way but really it's 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 experience and what you're describing is the experience of somehow through the settling down in the meditation kind of settling down um and and getting you know gently melting out of our usual engagement with all of our ideas that includes the idea of the separate self yeah uh, and then, and and that, and and we really tend to spend a lot of time hanging out down there in that unpersoned, that depersoned, de uh, delocalized uh, situation in meditation, where we may not even realize it because we we kind of melt down into that so gently and incrementally. But then, occasionally, as it comes back out with us. Now we've opened our eyes and, and we're still kind of in that place. And more and more, and that's great because this is really what happens, is more and more we're in that uh, uh, recognizing the, that, you know, w w what we are, which is not the island, but the continent, um, that we're not Jacob. And yet more and what happens is we learn how to respond to when people say Jacob, and we can walk around and still play the role of Jacob. In fact, play it more impeccably than ever. But all the while we're experiencing, oh, no, I'm this thing, which is not a thing, which is undifferentiated being, which is boundless. Well, Jacob is this, you know, this little charade of 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 boundaries and you know characteristics and personhood and it gets born and then yada 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 it does some stuff and then dies but what we are is is none of the above 